Hello everyone and welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name is Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of a portable fridge freezer, a dual zone portable fridge freezer that is super, super budget friendly, like $330 budget friendly fridge um, from a company called Set Power. So Set Power sent this fridge out for us to test, which we have done. Um, and Honestly, guys, I like it. We always give our honest reviews on the stuff that we get so that you guys know if it's worth getting, um, spending your money on or not. So in this video, we're going to go into more depth about some of the features, um, the goods and the bads, and, and mostly really, really good. So stick around and see what's coming next. So here we are, guys. Here is the set power. We have the PT35, which is the smallest version of this kind of setup. They have a PT35, which is this one, a PT45, and a PT55. The 35 is actually 37 quart storage capacity. I think the 45 is 47, and the 55 is 58 quarts. So um, they're all the same width and depth, they just get taller. I like the 35 right away, as you can see in our truck. I can stick this in there and cover it with a tonneau cover and it stays nice and dry. Okay, so let's give you a little walk around on the fridge. Outside construction, start with that. Um, like I said, it is a dual zone and we'll get into that in a little bit here. Um, I, I really like that these just kind of easily open and snap down into place. So I like the locking mechanism there. Um, down here is your control panel. It does have a battery protection, um, low, medium, or high. And what that is, is it'll sense how much voltage is coming into the fridge. So if you're running this off like a, a car battery or something like that, that you don't want to draw to the point where you can't start your vehicle, you can adjust this higher so that as that voltage drops, the fridge will cut out. Um, we're running this right now off of a portable battery that I don't care if it runs to dead, so I have this on low because I want this to run more than I want my battery to have a charge. So, but you have that option here. Um, left versus right temperature, this will cool from 50 degrees, like for a fridge, 50 degrees, all the way down to zero. So we have this side going as a freezer and this side is fridge right now. Um, we've got half a quart of ice cream in here that we ate through last night and some frozen bread, some gluten-free frozen bread. Um, and it, it stayed like hard, hard, like a hard freeze. So it's got no problem doing that. Now, if you wanted the whole thing to be a freezer, again, these are all kind of thing. You just adjust it here. You could take this both side down to just a uh, freezer or both sides again could be a refrigerator. So as far as the, just the appearance, they do have this nice kind of metal surround here. I think maybe it's aluminum, I'm not sure, but it is magnetic. So maybe it's not aluminum. I don't know if aluminum is magnetic, but at any point it is magnetic on the outside here. Um, the handles here, they're plastic, but they're very, like they're sturdy. They're, they're beefy handles. Um, this top is kind of like a rubberized, almost fake leather top. Um, so just generally outside, like I said, I, I like how it latches down. I like that the handles are sturdy. This fridge, um, just some general things to know about the fridge. Set Power um, gives you a three-year warranty on the compressor. So you, you got three years where if, some, if the compressor fails or something happens, you just let them know and they'll take care of you. Um, also this fridge, like obviously we're gonna have this like next weekend, we're going back out to Windrock and we'll have this fridge with us. And we're gonna be out on the trails. Um, and so this can tip up to 40 degrees and still be running fine. So if you're, I mean, that's a really steep incline. So <laughs> plenty of room to have this in the back of your vehicle and not have to worry about if, if you're tipping it so much that it's gonna shut off. So like I said, there are two compressor speeds right there, a min and a max. We've got it going on min, the compressor is on and we're drawing about 43 watts right now with the compressor going. As you can see, I'm down at 20%. We have been running this as freezer fridge since I plugged this in yesterday at four o'clock, um, running off this battery. And it is the next day at 9 a.m. 
So this, and also this is a 537 watt hour battery. So we got through the night into the next day. For sure, if I wasn't trying to freeze ice cream, this would last even longer than that. But for this size battery, which isn't huge, I'm pretty impressed on, on how it's able to power this. Like I said, got us through last night. We had dinner, breakfast this morning. I still have frozen ice cream in there. So after we switch it to max, we're drawing about 65, 64 watts out. So if you need to conserve battery once you're cooled down, definitely putting it on low will get you there. It's not going to suck as much energy out of your battery. However, under the max cool, like if you just put a bunch of stuff in there and you want to cool it down quickly, max cool will get you to temp, they say in about 15 minutes. So, and I, I would, I would agree. Um, when I put that in, things cool down pretty quick, but it obviously you're taking more power to do that. All right. So let me show you just the inside, what you can expect. These are nice and deep, um, containers. I can get kind of down to my elbow, forearm, plenty of room in here. The nice, strong led lights. I, I really like that. Um, I have some other fridges that have LEDs. It's just one row coming across. This has two. Um, so it's super bright at night to be able to see in there. What this doesn't have, a couple things this doesn't have on the inside is there's no drain. If you spill something in here and you want to try to drain it out, you're using washcloths or something like towels to sop it up or you're tipping this thing. Um, some of them have drains. This does not. It also doesn't come with a basket. Um, if you have seen some where you pull a basket out, there was no basket. Um, I'm not too upset about that at all because the basket's going to take up some space inside. And this is already just kind of a 37 quart cooler. So I think I'm okay with that. Um, over here we have the freezer side, the freeze. Well, and again, these can be either are, but we're running the side as a freezer. It's a much shallower here because the compressor is right under this, but also a nice strong led coming across here. Plenty of room for some ice cream. Um, you could, if you didn't need a freezer function, this could be your drink section. This could be for your food, and then you'd kind of have that separate. I always really do enjoy the dual zone functions of these things because it really allows you to kind of split things up a little bit. I find most often when I'm camping, I don't really need to keep things frozen. So often I'll be running these both on fridge and probably have maybe some drinks on this side and our, our meals or food over here. This size fridge could definitely get you through a couple days for sure so we had plenty of room in here like we were on an overnight so we had dinner breakfast in here there would still be room i would say for another lunch and dinner out of this fridge especially if we weren't trying to keep um, ice cream cold so these are great this size is great for weekend trips weekend getaways overnights fantastic if you're going to be gone a week and you want to load this up for a week, you better be super good at packing or not eat a whole lot. So if you're thinking you need something like that, then definitely you want to bump up to their bigger sizes. But guys, $330 is what this costs. And Another thing to note about kind of how you can run this, you can run off a 12 volt power, which I have going. This only has a connection on one side. Some other models will put a outlet on both sides, but the cord is, this is just a 12 volt cord. I mean, the cord is plenty long to wrap around and do whatever you want with it. So that doesn't really matter. And then there's an adapter that comes with it. Actually, mine ships separately. So that's something to note. If you order one of these and the fridge comes, and then usually I think the power plug comes separate. So just be aware of that. But there's an adapter where you can just plug this into your home or something like that to a regular 110. So you can run it on 110. You can run it off a of 12 volt DC. Okay guys, so just closing thoughts, summary on this fridge. You can't beat that price, $330 um, for what you're getting, dual zone functionality, um, LED lighting, battery protection, max cool versus low cool. Um, so you can really dial it into what you're looking for that way. Three year compressor warranty so that you don't have to worry about that compressor going and being stuck. For the price point that it's at, I think truly it's got everything that you would want. Um, and, and I'm a big, honestly guys, I'm a big fan of keeping it simple. So I love that the doors just slap down and they lock into place. There's no fancy mechanisms. I think the more complex you get with some of this stuff, the more I've seen them, there's just more to break. I mean, that's what it comes down to. So very solid fridge, solid construction. 
Um, big thanks to Set Power for sending this fridge out to us. I will put a link to this fridge in our video description. If you order through that link, helps our channel, doesn't cost you guys anything. Um, so check them out if you're in the market. And guys, as always, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you guys again real soon.